so we understood how to add comments and once you have added all the comments and clicked on return here you will be able to see on the students portal that all the comments are readily visible the student can then make amendments here and finally the student can just close the comment so this is how comments work in google classroom and it's really very easy this way to give feedback to the students and communicate with them now we are going to pick up another very important facility provided by google classroom and that is originality reports now for an assignment that you give to the student of course students do refer to various material available online as well as their books they have to access a lot of resources now there are times that students forget to cite those resources which is very important if we use some material from somewhere we need to cite the reference and also sometimes it may be unintentional unintentional plagiarism now with google classroom there is this facility of originality reports in which you as an instructor as well as the students can check whether their the originality aspect of the content that they provide in their assignment now this is available with g suite accounts so if your classroom is created using a g suite account this facility would be readily available the same is the case for students now in case of a student a student can check uh, his submission before he submits three times so a student can run the originality report thrice before he can turn in his assignment for an instructor the originality report will be available and you can understand how original the content is so if there is lack of paraphrasing or lack of appropriate citations you will be able to know and appropriately suggest modifications to the student so let's see how this feature works i'm going to create one new assignment so i go to classwork and i click on create click on assignment now here uh, this is let's say assignment two and I give a sample question here. Let's see what is bias and variance with respect to machine learning. So this is some question that I have given. Again, you can attach any documents or uh, anything for that matter that you feel is relevant for this assignment. Now, what is important is to see that we have just under the rubrics this concept of originality reports now if you want to use this feature which by default is not used you need to click on this checkbox here so once you do this it says you can enable originality reports on three assignments per class so this is with uh, the G suit if it is a G Suite Enterprise Edition, you will have much more facilities. So now I click on continue. And when I'm going to assign this particular assignment, the students will also be able to run uh, the originality reports thrice. So now before they actually turn in. So now I'm going to click on assign. Now, this particular assignment has gone into the student. The student can uh, write his or her answers. And then the student can run this originality checker and finally turn in. So in the next, we'll understand how now we can use this originality report.